We actually use the key to test it. If you were to press this while you break the glass, every time you break the glass, you'll put a new glass in there. Okay. I just want to physically show you, so that all you guys know, small screwdriver, little screw on the front there. That's the glass. That is actually glass. So when you activate this one, it breaks. It's covered in plastic at the back, so you're not going to cut yourself. All right. So there's no way that it will shatter in the glass. Got a little score on the back. You can see a little scratch in there that makes it easy to break. If you find this one with a broken glass in it, it's a case of undoing the front, taking the old glass out, putting the new glass back in. It is literally as simple as a little switch at the top. Okay. So put the glass back in. It'll only go in in one way, the little pegs and everything to put it back in. Now when he resets that alarm, it should go back to sleep. You should have a small screwdriver available and a spare glass. I'll double so check before I leave. What if somebody breaks that bucket around? You need to go and put a new glass in it before you can reset the fire alarm system. And have we got any glass? You should have. If you haven't, I'll make sure you have it before yeah, I leave. Yeah, so yeah, I've never yeah. seen any glass anyway. Yeah, I think, I, I, I think you have. And that's the only way to, to stop it. I think it. I can remember where it is as well. Really? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 if worst comes to worst, we can just get Sorry. Laura to stand there with her finger on the button <laughs> while we wait for someone to go and get one. Yeah. I've, seen, I've seen all stores, people putting mash sticks in there and all the ways around yeah. it. Um, we always offer you a, a 24 hour call out facility with the engineers. There is a cost included if it's 11 o'clock in the evening or whenever. Um, but there is a, a trick or so that I yeah. can show. I'll, I'll show you before we leave. There's a trick you can do something. But okay. I don't, no, no, no. Yeah. Right, so, so that's that's this end of it. We'll just quickly go and have a look at the fire control panel, and then I think that's pretty much done. So, is it like um, almost unlawful to tamper with that, like put a matchstick in there and stop it from? Uh... Um, the thing is, with, if you were to do that, and then it means that you are you not liable for that. Yeah, no, okay. You guys have on the ball, man, so you guys who haven't seen it now. Okay, make sure everybody's in so we can see. <coughs> okay, all right, this is the main control panel for the fire alarm. As we spoke earlier, you've got your four zones are written on here, top floor, first floor, and growth kitchen, ground floor, and cellar. They're activated in those four areas there, so if you have a fire in zone one, it will come up above zone one, just here. Okay. We have what I call an ignition key on the front. The fire alarm controls won't work unless you turn that key. Same as your car. The car doesn't work until you turn the ignition on. It's exactly the same sort of theory. That basically is there to stop kids from playing <coughs> with it. I don't know how many kids you know that are that tall, but... Okay, so in a setting you can file forward. When the fire alarm is activated, Gary, is there a cool point you can activate for me? When the fire alarm's activated, the system will go into evacuation, okay? And we'll have a look at the information that's being provided to us. The first button that I'm going to press is silence alarms. Basically, that's to stop the sirens, otherwise you won't be able to hear me. Okay? Alright. So Gary's activated it. We'll turn the key, okay? I can silence that just to keep the noise down for a second. It's come up in zone three. Zone three on here is somewhere on the ground floor. So I said, we've broken the system into four lumps. Mm -hmm. We know that there's a problem in the ground floor. So if we were to wander around now, we'd find the, the broke glass that Gary's just activated. We know what the problem is. We can then come back and we'd silence and reset the system, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't silence the alarm until you've found out why it's been activated, okay? That's important, otherwise your punters will start ignoring you. You, you come here, you read the information. So we saw that it was in zone three, ground floor, go and investigate. Once you're happy that there's not a fire incident that is something that you can take control of, then you can silence and reset the system. Okay. If it is obviously a, a fire situation, the system's already in evacuation, it's already making a noise, then all you need to do is evacuate the punters. Not forgetting to run through this, your garden, the main bar and the cellar. Because I know one or two of you hide right down in the barrel of the cellar, don't I? So <laughs> it's, worth, it's worth having a, a, a check around in there. When you get some opportunity um, during the next sort of day or so, you've got fire extinguishers around the building, you've got the brake glasses around the building, it's worth having a little walk around and just familiarising yourself. Oh yeah, there's one there, there's one there, what's that, what type of fire extinguisher is it? Okay. The extinguishers on the front, they'll give you all the information you really know without me having to teach it to you. 
if you just find five minutes, yeah, instead of going on Facebook on your phone, read the fire, read the fire extinguisher, yeah? Okay? I bet he's on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Right, any, <laughs> he thought I couldn't see him. Anyway, mm. any, um, any questions? Anything we touched today? No? Is there anything you guys want to add, Clive? Uh, no, I think we've got two different ones. We've got uh, just one type of fire extinguisher or two types. <coughs> There's quite a few different the, types. The, the, main, the main extinguisher through this decade would be a water extinguisher. Right. Then behind the bar, I think you've got a dry powder or something. Right, so electrical. Yeah. But again, when we do a longer course, we can look into the extinguishers. This is just.